Uh, you know, a, cu a couple things. Um, I think he's a little more aggressive early in the count, and he, he's laying off that you know that, that bad breaking ball, that hit hittable one, you know, the one that either bouncing or you know borderline on the ground, you know, the, the tough one. And um, but but I would say you know I think he's you know he's jumping on the pitches early in, you know early in the at bat. Sometimes no you know he hit a breaking ball at night, but don't let him get to the other the off speed stuff, you know, because they're gonna, you know, I mean they, he got a steady diet of it last year, especially the second half of the season. So he knows he's going to get it, and, and um, you know, but he's made a big adjustment. Gibby, you, you played much of the first month within the AL East. Is there a different feel playing outside? You got a series of games against other divisions now. Is there a different feel to that? Yeah, I, you know what, Richard, I, I'm kind of relieved you start to see some new new teams, you know, uh, you know, because every year they stack your schedule early on against your own, you know, your own division. Everybody knows everybody, and, you know, and sometimes you get tired of playing those guys, you know, and, and it's pretty good teams, and we, we have some battles with all of them. So, yeah, I kind of enjoy, you know, starting to see some new faces and uh, – you know, I think in the, in the in the East too. I think it's a different style of game. You know, it's changed a little bit, but it's more. You know, I mean, teams are built differently. You know, I mean, generally, I think you get out of the East, and you know, there's more speed on some other teams. You know, there's there's real good hitters, a lot of sluggers, but it's it's kind of a you know, just f it feels different. You know, and you're uh, you know, and if you're on the road too, I mean, different ballparks. You know, we play in the band boxes. You know, so that's you know, that's always on your mind. You know, a miss hit ball could be a home run, things like that. So. Yeah, I think I think sometimes we overdo it, overload early. So I kind of like seeing some new new faces. Gibby Pierce had a big swing to break things open. He's been kind of up and down. Who's that? Did you say Pier Pierce? Pierce? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's been kind of up and down this year. But do you see some signs that maybe he's starting to come around? Yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, he a, a tough start. There's no question. But you know, I mean, he wasn't the only one. Uh, you know, and, they, and he kind of got on track in, in you know in that New York series. You know, hit a couple home runs and then. Uh, um, you know, but that was big. You know, then 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 he cooled off a little bit, and you know, the big one tonight. You know, they pad the lead. You know, we were, you know beat up in the bullpen, and that was a big home run. So, um, you know, he was brought here because he's always been able to hit, and um, you know, some things, sometimes things just go that way early on. You know, but I mean, that's not going to last forever. Gibby, can you comment on Estrada's game and the fact that he's pitched to all four of your catchers and pitched well? That means you could catch him. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I thought it was a battle for him early, early on. You know, uh, and then I thought he kind of hit, found that groove a little bit as, as the game went on. But, you know, we, we were checking the board because we knew we were, you know, uh, we needed some innings at him, and it, he was chewing up some pitches early on. Um, but then he kind of settled in like he always does. And you know, I think I said last week, he always seems to get better at the end. In my, my opinion, you know, when he when he knows he's at the end, you know, he's got maybe an inning or two left. He, you know, he didn't get in a jam tonight, but when he gets in jams, that's almost when he's at his best. But um, yeah, I, th I thought uh, I think he was a little bit off early, and you know, of course, you know, the big home run by Cruz, who's, who's always hit him well. Um, but then after that, you know, he threw up the zeros like he like he always does, and he always gives up minimal runs. So. John, just with Biagini tomorrow, he got just over 50 pitches in Tampa. Do you have a target number for pitch count? Yeah, yeah, roughly. You know, we'll kind of see how the outing's going. If he if he's laboring at all, you know, we might might hold that down a little bit. But you know, I, 70, 75, maybe. I mean, if he if he's cruising, it's easy. You know, we could go maybe a little little further than that. <laughs> 